This is a lecture from Open Tuition. To benefit from the lecture, you should download the free lecture notes from opentuition.com. All right, in the earlier lectures on budgets, uh, we look very much at the functional budgets, budgeting what the sales will be and therefore what the production will be and therefore uh, what labour will need and so on. Uh, but another budget, which is terribly important for most companies, is something called a cash budget, uh, where um, they budget usually month by month how much cash they'll receive and pay and what their cash balance will be. So that, for example, if they see uh, ooh, in three months' time um, they've not got enough cash, then they can start planning what they're going to do. Uh, are they going to arrange to borrow money or whatever? And to show you how they, we could go about preparing one, uh, well, you'll see there is a pro forma, but to make sense of it all, uh, look straight to example three. You're presented with the following forecasted data for your organisation for the period November X1 to March X2. It's been extracted from the functional forecasts that have already been prepared, so uh, 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 the budgets we were looking at before. And so you've got there for each of five months the budgeted sales, purchases, wages and overheads, and we saw the following. A. Sales of 40% cash, 60% on credit. And the credit sales are paid two months after the month of sale. Uh, purchases are paid the month following purchase. Wages, 75% are paid in the current month and 25% in the following month. Overheads are paid the month after they're incurred. The opening cash balance is 15000 And we are required to produce a cash flow forecast. It doesn't say, but monthly for the three-month period January to March. So let's do it as columns. I want uh, cash flow, but cash budgets for January, uh, what's it, X2? February X2. March X2. And what we're going to do, what I'm going to do, is list the receipts each month first. Uh, then I'll list the payments each month. And we can work out what's happening to the balance. So let's first of all look to see what the cash receipts are each month. Uh, well, the only uh, receipts we're going to have here are those from sales. And what does it say? It says sales are 40% cash and 60% credit. So we're doing January. Let's look at January's sales. In January, the sales were 110,000. Well, it says 40% of them will pay by cash. So 40% of 110,000 is 44,000. So 44,000 will be received in January. Uh, the other 60% is on credit. And credit sales are paid two months after the month of sale. So January sales of 110, 66,000 is on credit and will receive the 66,000 two months later. So one month is February, two months is March. The other 66, we get the cash in March. So there are January sales. We sold 110, but the cash, 44 of it comes in January, 66, two months later in March. Uh, what about February sales? February sales, 130. 40% is in cash, which is 52,000. And that will be received in February. Now the other 60%, ah, that won't be received until two months later, which is April. And we are only asked to do the budget for January, February, March. What about March's sales of 140? Again, 40% 40 will be received immediately in cash. 40% of that is 56,000. The other 60% is on credit. So we won't actually get the cash for two months later, which would be March, April, May. 
well, we're only doing the cash budget for three months. <coughs> However, this is why I had uh, uh, earlier ones. Look back to December. In December, we sold 100,000. Well, 40% will have been received in December. And not relevant for us because we are asked to do January, February, March. But still on December's sales, the other 60% are 60,000. We get the cash two months later. So we sold them in January, uh, sorry, December, two months later, January, two months later, February, we get 60,000 in February. That's 60% of December's sales. And finally for this, what about November's sales? Well, 40% will have been received in November. But the other 60%, 48,000, two months later, well, remember, one month later is December, two months later is January. And so 60%, 48,000 is received in January. So there are the cash receipts I'm expecting each month. The total receipts, 92, uh, 112, uh, 122. All right, we now need to look at what the cash payments will be each month. And what do we do? Well, first of all, purchases. We're told what the purchases are each month. But note B says we pay the month following purchases. So November's will be paid the month later, which is December. Not relevant to us. December's, though, Paid more month later, but paid in January. So December's purchase is of 60. The cash is paid out a month later in January. January is 80. One month later, it'll be paid in February. February's purchase is of 90. Paid one month later, they'll be paid in March. March's purchases won't be paid until April. We're only doing January, February, March. Uh, what else? Wages. I'll do this in two bits. It says 75% is paid in the current month. So January's wages are 16. 75% will be paid in January. That's 12,000. But the other 25% are paid in the following month. So January's wages were 16, 12,000 paid in uh, January, the other 4,000 in the following month, which is February. Uh, similarly, February's wages are 20,000. 75% of 20 is 15,000 is paid in the month in February. The other 25% 5,000 a month later in March. March's wages are 24. 75% of 24 is 18. They'll be paid in March. The remainder, not relevant to us here, because the remainder will be paid the following month, April. However, again, we need to go back a bit. Uh, you have November, December. November, no problem, because November's wages, 75% in November, 25% in December. December's wages, though, 75% will have been paid in December. But the other 25% or 3,000 will have been paid uh, in January. Overheads. Ah, they're paid the month after they're incurred. So November's overheads paid in December. December's overheads paid in January. Uh, January's overheads paid in February. February's overheads paid in March. Uh, March's overheads, of course, paid in April. So there are all the cash payments we're aware of. 
So what's the total payments in January 60, 72, 75, 85,000? Uh, in February, 814,000. And in March, 928,000. So I know each month what the receipts, cash receipts, cash payments will be. And so what's the net cash flow? Uh, January, we received 92. We paid out, are we going to pay out 85? So there's a net inflow of 7,000. Uh, February, receive 112, pay out 114. So again, a net receipt of the difference of 8,000. Uh, and finally, oh sorry, how stupid, 112 minus 114, what am I doing? A net payment of 2,000. Uh, and finally, March, 122 in, 128 out, a net payment of 6,000. Uh, finally, though, I said that the uh, what we really want to know is what is our cash balance going to be at the end of each month. Well, note, note E tells us the opening balance. Well, at the beginning of January, it was 15,000. And I know it doesn't say that, but it has to mean the, the beginning of January, otherwise we couldn't have done it. And so, what will it be at the end of January? 15, during January, we receive a net 7, so at the end it will be 22. And of course, the balance at the end of January is the balance at the beginning of February. So we start February with 22. There's a net payment of 2,000, so at the end of February is 20. And similarly, if it's 20 at the end of February, it's 20 at the start of March. And so at the end of March, uh, we expect the balance to be 14. Now, I said at the beginning, a cash is critical to any business, obviously. So uh, it's very important they plan monthly what will happen to the balance. Uh, because as I said earlier, <coughs> if they did find uh, that one month, or maybe in February, they found it was going to go negative, they'd have to start making arrangements to how they were going to be able to borrow that money, or maybe uh, whether they could move some of the expenses of the uh, receipts you know, to end up spending less in February or receiving more of it or whatever. So there we are, a cash budget.